how do we know when someone's in discovery and how do we know when someone's ready to be sold? Yeah. So discovery is a little bit difficult to detect early on. This is where your content is going to be largely high level and problem focused and kind of industry and problem focused where you're going to be kind of addressing that. You're not going to necessarily say, you know, this is our product solves that or whatever. Maybe you will do some kind of static stuff around that, but your deeper content, if I'm going to engage with you, that's not going to be of interest to me. What's going to be of interest to me is doing some confirmation bias with me. Like this is a problem. This is what we've been seeing in the industry. This is a perspective that you can share through, you know, having a spokesman, doing some video, publishing some, you know, thought pieces on LinkedIn, et cetera. Right. And so we can measure those and we can look at that and look at the engagement on that. And we can say, okay, there's a fair amount of this audience that's interested in that. And then we can use that and we can kind of bring that forward and say, now let's see how they respond to deeper stuff and deeper stuff. Mm -hmm. And at the end, this is where we sell. We can really start pushing, like, look at a product, get a product demo, you know, like test drive, all that kind of stuff happens down there because they've taken a deep interest and we're going to watch them having this deep interest. Now, I think the problem is when we start assuming mm -hmm. that there's an interest in buying and being sold to when they're in discovery. And so I think we see a lot of companies just throwing everything at that front of line, you know, like everything at those people and saying, let's just see how everything does. And I think that's when you start to see yourself distance a little bit from your audience. You start to create a little bit of back off, man, I don't want to be sold to. And now when you use this method of kind mm -hmm. of pulling people through and not kind of forcing it and letting them discover and see the product and the problem and the solution set and all that kind of stuff. And they're going to go look at other companies. They're going right. to look for competitors and stuff like that. Now you already have a leg up on those people because you're the one that let them know, right? You, know, you were the one who are providing them with value from A to D, let's say. Right. right. You've already done that. So now they have to do their due diligence and they have to look for other ones. And, the, and if you're still going to be for, in the fore of their mind, so you're still mm -hmm. going to have a better chance up here, but you keep pulling them through and then you give them a few endpoints to actually convert on. It's yeah. not give everything up front and like hope for the best, you know?